One Bad Mother Forker, exploring the many forks of Bitcoin, written by Dan. A wise man once compared Bitcoin to the Model T Ford, the ancestor of the modern day automobile. The Model T lacked any safety features, was difficult to navigate, got horrible mileage, and offered far less comfort than its modern day counterpart. And just as the subsequent automobile models aim to improve upon the flaws of the Model T, so do the various forks improve upon the perceived shortcomings of Bitcoin. A Bitcoin fork doesn't need to have a lot in common with the original protocol. In fact, some forks can deviate greatly from the Bitcoin of 2008, and some can be merge forks with other cryptocurrencies. There are over two dozen or so Bitcoin forks to date, with more to come this year. This is by no means a comprehensive list. Frankly, not every single Bitcoin fork is worth writing about or talking about. Some will only be mentioned briefly, and those that are based on extraordinary projects or mass market adoption will be described in more detail. Since the forking of Bitcoin Cash last year, by far the most well-known of the Bitcoin forks, roughly 20 forks have been created. Though Bitcoin Cash is not trading anywhere near Bitcoin Segwit, the comparison between the two cryptos is interesting, as illustrated at Transaction Highway, a live side-by-side -side representation of the two networks. The runner-up for the most well-known fork is Bitcoin Gold. It has been designed with the little guy in mind. Bitcoin Gold employs the Equihash algorithm instead of the Bitcoin's SHA-256. This lowers the barrier to entry for mining because the algorithm is ASIC resistant, meaning that specialized equipment like ASIC miners will not be able to mine the coin faster than the average laptop or computer. Their development team is working on integrating smart contracts and the beta version of BTG Pay, an e-commerce platform and debit card centered around the cryptocurrency. Next down the line is Bitcoin Diamond. Although its name suggests the exact opposite, Bitcoin Diamond is neither rare nor expensive, as it has a supply cap 10 times that of Bitcoin and only trades for less than $10 each. The Bitcoin Diamond Foundation insists that the larger supply of Bitcoin Diamond is intended to make mining it easier, thus lowering the bar to entry for small-time miners. As the Bitcoin network becomes more congested, with increasing trade volume, its one megabyte block size limit and its block interval time of 10 minutes, that is the average time it takes for a new block to be found, creates a very obvious bottleneck, resulting in higher transaction fees and longer confirmation times. Stressing the overall network, the skyrocketing network traffic led to confirmation times last year that took weeks and cost between 30 and $40 in miners fees per transaction. Many of these forks have come into existence to offer a solution to the sluggish design of the Bitcoin network. It is also important to consider the emergency difficulty adjustment for each of these different networks. If the network has a certain difficulty setting and mining power decreases, if there is an adjustment made, blocks will come up much slower, confirmation times will be longer, lending less usability to that network and blockchain. Then again, if the emergency difficulty adjustment is too soft, you'll see people gaming the system. So let's go over some of the other Bitcoin forks. Well, there's Bitcoin Segwit 2x, x11, b2x, has a block time of 2.5 minutes and a block limit of 4 megabytes. Then you have Oil Bitcoin, has a block time of 90 seconds, has a block size of 2 megabytes, and performs an EDA every block. The Bitcoin Silver network has a block time of 30 seconds and an EDA after every block. Not to be outdone, the Lightning Bitcoin LBTC has a block time of three seconds and a block size of two megabytes with no emergency difficulty adjustment. Several folks like the Bitcoin Private BTCP, which is technically a merge fork between Z Classic and Bitcoin, attempt to address this flaw. Bitcoin Private employs ZK SNARK or zero knowledge proofs to ensure that transactions can be fully encrypted on the blockchain yet still verified as valid. Super Bitcoin, SBTC, and Bitcoin X are two forks that have integrated zero knowledge proofs in their protocols. Bitcoin Faith, BTF, is in the process of implementing zero knowledge proofs to shield their transactions from prying eyes. There's even a debate currently going on whether or not to add zero knowledge proofs to Bitcoin Cash. A few Bitcoin forks are built around proposed innovations, which if successful, could revolutionize the cryptocurrency, one such fork is Bitcoin Atom, BCA, 
whose underlying technology is based on the theory of atomic swaps. This allows for the swapping of cryptocurrencies without using a trusted third party. This proposed technology involves the use of smart contracts to make the exchange. The development team is working on BCA to be able to make atomic swaps with 10 major cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ether, Dash, Litecoin, with future implementations for other ERC-20 tokens. Bitcoin Interest, BCI, offers a sort of interest-bearing savings account for parking their coins in a specific wallet for a period of time and slowly accruing interest. Described as their savings technology, BCI offers two rewards when mined, one reward for the miners and another small reward for those who hold their BCI in wallets they call interest pools. The theory is that crypto that is just sitting in one place as opposed to being traded back and forth will reduce the overall volatility of the market. Bitcoin File, BIFI, builds itself as a blockchain-based point-to-point distributed file system. It integrates the Bitcoin protocol with the Interplanetary File System, or IPFS. The coin's blockchain should be fully integrated with the IPFS protocol by fall. As the Bitcoin code base continues to evolve, one might wonder which forks will survive, which ones will wither away, and perhaps even which one will replace Bitcoin. It's anyone's guess at this point. The forking of Bitcoin may lead to something as revolutionary and groundbreaking as the invention of the blockchain itself. And it's all thanks to the MIT license. That's right. The MIT license allows people to take this Bitcoin code, this open source code, and pretty much do whatever they want with it. Which is why Bitcoin Cash and all these other forks are able to do what they're doing without fearing any legal prosecution. For Neo Cash Radio, I'm JJ. Thanks for watching.